to the day's uh, world markets where you're seeing uh, most uh, kind of European and US and Asian markets really feel under pressure again, uh, led by China dropping 3,000 points uh, this morning, which has just dragged everything else down with it. And last night we actually had quite a late rally where we saw some, some decent gains. Oil managed to get back up. At one point the Dow was up 300 points and it still managed to retain about a 200 point advantage heading into the close. But then pretty much as the Asian session started, it slowly began to, uh, to move lower and towards the end of its close at the time of recording this video, um, the Chinese stock market is down 3,000 points or about 3.5% and that's the Shanghai Composite Index. In the background there as well, there is uh, kind of rumors coming out of Reuters right now that uh, Saudi Arabia, a lot of their major investment vehicles are looking to get a fixed income and buy into stocks because the way they're pitching it is the valuations are incredibly attractive. Another big rumor there is uh, one of the biggest investment funds in Saudi Arabia uh, are, are talking about actually getting out of energy stocks and um, that would obviously be causing a little bit of pain since energy stocks are currently at an all, well not an all time low, but they're certainly uh, benefiting from, not benefiting, but they're certainly coming off a fair amount from that negativity from the sell off in the, in the crude markets there as well. Very interesting time for uh, Saudi to also consider uh, listing their biggest state owned oil company as well for this uh, absolutely huge you know, trillion dollar uh, listing. The markets are perhaps, it doesn't feel like a good time for me to be listing all these stocks uh, with all this type of volatility, but a lot of eyes on Saudi Arabia to decide what they're going to do next and why they're looking to do that. You know, if they're listing their biggest state owned oil company, they're talking about raising about $100 billion. So they wouldn't list the whole, the, the whole, the whole thing, um, but that should be enough to keep their welfare state uh, going for uh, another, another two years, especially with oil prices the way that they, they are. So there's a lot of political implications of what's happening uh, with Saudi and their investments in other parts of the world, and that's causing a little bit of, um, of volatility elsewhere. So you have the general theme of China, you know, what happens in China is basically impacting everywhere else and all eyes are on Saudi Arabia. What exactly are they going to do next and are they doing it for the right reasons? So that's some of the common themes that you're going to be seeing when we look at some of the charts there today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at the US 30. So as ever, uh, what you can see there, you had that big rebound and you've kind of almost got kind of dark cloud cover forming there just now on the candles. 87% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. We are in the middle of two ranges. The technicals are relatively neutral. Well, the slow stochastic is just about to go into oversold territory and the RSI is already oversold, but hasn't yet broken back through that level uh, to provide that reversal signal. And the tips of these candles here, here and here uh, is kind of showing that there is selling interest. Each time it tries to rally higher, it just gets pushed right back down. So then moving on to the UK 100, a similar picture, really strong candle yesterday as commodity markets managed to rally that little bit um, stronger yesterday. Um, but that's obviously not uh, been the case so far this morning with copper and crude uh, and uh, well, gold is actually going up because it's a safe haven, but copper and crude certainly coming off. Uh, and we've already had this, uh, this negative candle forming. Uh, yesterday's candle was so strong, however, but just look at, look at all these candles. As soon as you get close to 6,000, they're selling interest. But interestingly, 73% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. So moving quickly on to Japan 225, bearish engulfing pattern, 88% of CMC Marcus clients are short. If we close below this, the next potential support is 16440. And that's also a double whammy. Equity sell-off plus dollar yen, uh, or the yen is gaining momentum. You can see that the RSI and the slow stochastic are oversold, but there's not yet any reversal signal. Let's see how this ends up later on today. Looking at dollar yen, uh, you can see we do have a bearish engulfing pattern currently. Uh, we've got to get below the tip of this candle right here to be uh, quite negative. 116.80 is the next potential support. 52% of CMC clients are currently uh, short. A lot of indecision by uh, CMC clients as to where this is going next. And this has obviously been oversold for quite some time. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, it's getting smashed again, bearish engulfing pattern. Um, what we are seeing uh, just now is further weakness, getting quite close to $30 again. It's $30.13. The other technicals are relatively um, neutral, apart from the RSI, it's been oversold for a while. 77% of CMC Marcus clients 
are currently short on this just now, are currently long. They're obviously hoping to buy it on, uh, on, uh, on weakness, hoping it's going to rebound. Obviously, you had a strong rebound yesterday, but that weakness has returned as a sell-off in China continued through. Then having a look at gold, gold should be getting a little bit more shot in the arm, uh, shot in the arm, I think, because you've got a less chance of interest rates being uh, having so many interest rate hikes in uh, the US uh, this year, uh, compounded by the fact that gold's supposed to be a safe haven asset. Now, we've had a lot of neg neg negativity in gold. It's not like we're seeing exceptional US dollar strength either, but gold just can't seem to catch a break. So it seems to be Japanese yen is the flavor of the day if you're looking for a safe haven. 58% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. We've almost got a negative crossover on the MACD, whereas the RSI and the slow stochastic are not yielding much in the way of excitement. Looking at your dollar, it's still trading within this potential descend descending triangle range. We obviously had a spike higher in the euro towards uh, the end of the session, then it uh, sold off. Now we're pretty much back where we started. One spot 0820 is the level to look at. CMC Marcus clients currently 84% short. They're obviously hoping for a little bit more of a sell off. And we finish up with GBP USD. Uh, well, it's just not really living the dream right now. 84% seems to be Marcus clients think this is going to go lower. They've been short for such a long time. So this has been a, a very interesting FX pair to, uh, to be involved in. Obviously, the sell has been very aggressive. We're in the middle of two ranges right now. One spot 4230 is the next potential support. Bank of England yielded no surprises. Uh, eight to one voting on, on interest rates, obviously, uh, and a relatively dovish stance, though maybe not as dovish as some people might have expected. And that gives you a bit of a flavor of what to expect there. If we quickly finish up with the market calendar, we do have three pieces of uh, US macro data today that you should all be aware of. Uh, UK, US retail sales expected to come in zero. That's pretty anemic. Uh, industrial production, uh, minus 0.2. And also the consumer sentiment, University of Michigan um, data. It's not as important as the other two, to be fair. I think most uh, traders are, if they come in as expected, that's still pretty rubbish, uh, showing that there's not really massive gains to, to be had. Uh, but that is obviously coming just straight after Christmas time. So we'll see how that pans out. So make sure you don't forget about that. Well, guys, very best of luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye. One, 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 one,